Hey, wait. I say good. You say morning. You say command. Nope. Cheese. That's dumb. Not happening. Do it. <laughs> no. Let's go. Good. Command cheese. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Comanches. My name is Jace. I'm Susie. I'm Nick. And this is the Comanche Insider. Prom is on May 14th. It's going to be $85 for single with ASB and $95 single without ASB. For couples, it's going to be 170 with your ASB and 190 without your ASB. The deadline to purchase those tickets is Thursday, May 12th. No tickets will be sold after that day. Uh, only seniors and juniors can purchase tickets. Uh, sorry, freshmen and sophomores, you cannot purchase tickets, but you're still welcome to prom only if you're invited to this very exclusive event at the Aquarium of the Pacific. The Aquarium of the Pacific. All detentions must be cleared and the students uh, attending must present a uh. valid I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do this and we're gonna do it right. Uh. Right? Okay. You hear a flood, you gloss over it. <laughs> all students must present a valid ID at the, uh, at the door and all detentions must be cleared. Do that with Mr. Harrison. He's real cool about it. Hint, hint, lunch equals one hour. Do you want to be an ambassador? Well, pick up applications well, in the no student one's center. To you. <laughs> hey there, uh, juniors and seniors hey. of next year. Uh, are you interested in becoming an ambassador? Well, you can pick up an application in the uh, student center. <laughs> application process uh, <laughs> this year has changed. Uh, it's going to be uh, interviews. <laughs> There's going to be interviews uh, late May. Applications will be due uh, no later than May 16th. Hey, congratulations to Mrs. Damon's robotics team. Uh, they participated in the OC Maker Challenge, and two teams won third place. Um, winner for level two consisted of Chris De Paola, Megan Hahn, Michael Bacor, Bet Bachor, Bachor, Matthew Radcliffe, and Nick Farrar. Uh, their invention was a Simply Purse. Uh, that is something that is a wearable technology that consists of a fashionable yet practical. Uh, working purse with an LED light, a switch, and a charger. The second team in level three consisted of Brian Donahue, Joshua Riviere, Michael Bangos, Aideen Sagachi, and Juno Catalino. They created the Temp Glove, which is a wearable technology that displays accurate temperature from a foot away of the object. This is helpful for wounded warriors who have babies that they want to feed with bottles and small children that they want to draw baths for. Here's a demonstration video for each of those inventions. Us women love purses. It's one of the most personal items that we own. However, purses only seem like they're made from fashion, so we had a great idea. So our great idea was to modernize and add very useful features to our purse. Our purse has many useful features, such as a built-in LED. So if you're ever at some place like the movie theater and need to find your phone or keys, you can easily do so. And to charge the purse, all you have to do is plug it into any USB port. To make our project come to life, we had to figure out what we had to do to solve our problems, which were to be able to charge the phone on the go and to see the contents of the purse in a dark area. In order to do this, we got a power bank and wired it to power our LED light and our portable phone charger. 
To hide and protect the power bank and the wires, we made a box from Tinkercad and built it through the 3D printer. To hide the box, we removed some of the lining from the purse, leaving more than enough storage space in the actual purse. We added Velcro to the opening that we made to easily open and close it. We also built an LED light holder to protect the bulb and to keep it in place. Through our fabrication process, we were able to create a simply purse. Hello, he's Josh, I'm Michael, and we're part of the Temp Guys, and we made the Temp Glove. Alright, as we said before, this is a Temp Glove, and it is used to uh, measure temperature by using a sensor, and its, its initial purpose can be for uh, wounded warriors who have lost limbs, and they have to have prosthetic arms or hands given to them, and they can no longer feel or use those senses. And so, if say they have a newborn child and they'd like to give them, a, or warm up a bottle or give them a bath, they could use the glove to <clears throat> sense the temperature of the bottle itself or the bath water so they know whether or not it's too hot or too cold, uh, rather than just trying to put it on somewhere else on their body to sense the temperature. Cool. So uh, I'm using the Adreno software right now to code the sensor and the display. Hi, we're the rest of the temp guys, and we're going to be showing you a demonstration from the temp glove. What we did is we hooked up an infrared sensor to a display, and we're going to use that to tell the temperature of this cold water bottle. It's regular temperature. I get the temperature in there. And we're back! Aren't those awesome? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those are legitimately cool. Congrats to those two teams. Uh, it's fantastic. Do a wonderful job of representing Canyon. Just a reminder, the library is going to be closed during class time due to AP and SBAC testing, so if you need to go to the library, go during nutrition, lunch, and after school. Not during class! Uh, Color Guard is holding auditions for next year. Uh, that will be May 23rd and 25th uh, from 3.30 p.m. to 5 in the cafeteria. Uh, the final auditions are May 26th, shortly after, at 3.30 p.m. And, um, hey, if you're worried that you don't have any experience or you suck, that doesn't matter. No one sucks. If you have any questions, please visit room 401. And that's all we have for you today, Comanches! Hey, Canyon, this is your uh, editor speaking. Uh, we forgot to record an announcement, so I'm just going to throw it in. Canyon's The Company presents Elevation, the annual May show. This show is being held in the cafeteria at 7 p.m. on May 19th, 20th, and the 21st. That's a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Tickets are being sold right now in the quad for only $5 for students and $10 for adults. Thank you so much for listening, and enjoy the rest of the show. Uh, this has been the Comanche Insider. I hope you have a great week. I'm Jace. I'm Susie. I'm Nick. And, uh, goodbye. Hey guys, it's your boy Mike Doe, and the next video you're going to see is a music video that I created. Um, I wrote the video and I also edited, and Joey Crippen, he wrote the beat, and so it's an original song. Um, it was supposed to premiere um, during basketball season, but you know, some, some problems happened, so we couldn't get it out to you guys. So we're, uh, this is our last broadcast, so I you know, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, Canyon High School Rap.
no introduction, you already know, it's your boy Mike. Start on the speed, every school's impressed. Hating on the C, cause you know we're the best. Stand on top, screaming CHS. Making history, bubble one CIF. Villa Park, now we need an extra on the Yerba Linda. No matter which school, we on top, we're the winner from Miss A, Mr. M, and Misty. Shout out to Bushman. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Basketball is balling. Shout out to JT. Pure Jones with a lockdown. D need a block. Someone get a reset of Murph to get that. Go ahead, three. Canyon High School is the best in. We're our family. Yeah, we stay caring. Whether it's any sport. Or any play like DJ Khaled, all we do is win. Coming through the hall, you see my blonde hair. Everywhere you turn, there's someone there. Got ATY, yeah, she plays fair, but she'll be so hard, you don't even care. Candy stays live when I dead like zombies. Our fashion stays nice, shout out Abercrombie. Freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors, got athletes, actors, scholars, singers. Canyon High School, you will get trapped, you know that we'll fly. The best in the state is my school. Microwaves at the school haze, but in reality, we're too cool. Canyon High School, you'll get trapped, you know that we'll fly. The best thing to say is my school. Canyon High School. because I've always had a knack for music and it wasn't necessarily a passion, it was just something that I enjoyed doing. So I was in my English class one day and I had a friend named Jessica Jones and she heard me singing one day and she was like, oh, you're a really good singer, you should join choir. Like everyone, choir is an escape toward for myself and also I get to be surrounded by a good family. Everyone's very accepting. I think for most people, they think that it's just singing, but it's more than just singing. It's like there's a community here, and it's just a great experience here, and such a fun place to be in. Joining choir was like one of the best decisions I've ever made at Canyon. You learn so much and you're going to meet a lot of great people. I was really nervous coming into high school. I thought that, you know, it'd be very lonely, but then choir kind of opened doors and it's like developing a second family. Joining choir was so worth it. I, I love it so much. It's brought so much joy. Joining choir was worth it because overall, it's just a good community to be in. Done. Boom. Let's go, baby. Thank you, Chad. Like, zero out of zero. Only